Yellowstone Supervolcano Danger Alert. 465 mile long rising magma under the supervolcano. Scientists are closing watching this. They say who knows when it will erupt. A volcano is a living thing and we cannot predict when it will erupt. This is by Callum Hoare on Express. Scientists are closely monitoring a 465 mile long piece of molten rock rising below the Yellowstone caldera. It's a bombshell documentary that has revealed this by Smithsonian on CBS. Supervolcano located in Yellowstone National Park has erupted three times in history, 2.1 million years ago, 2 1.2 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. And if you watch the embedded video in here, they say that there was a whole mountain range of the area that because of the eruption, millions of years ago, that whole mountain range just sunk into the caldera. Can you imagine? Amazing. The uh, volcanoes typically blow when molten rock, known as magma, rises to the surface following the Earth's mantle, melting due to tectonic plates shifting. But geologists have revealed how Yellowstone's supervolcano magma chamber, which sits on top of the magma plume, is slowly rising every year. Should it continue at this rate, it's possible magma could break through the Earth's crust, they said, forming flowing lava. It was revealed on YouTube's why the Yellowstone supervolcano could be huge. The 2015 mini-documentary detailed, quote, scientists have new data that gives them a better picture of Yellowstone's underground plumbing. Right beneath the caldera from the last eruption sits the magma chamber, stretching 465 miles northwest. Scientists are closely monitoring this magma as it rises to the plume, from the plume into the chamber at two inches every single year. And you can see the embedded videos in here. A 3D map showing the molten rock below uh, Yellowstone and the like. Now, the danger will be if the plume starts liquefying and moving up any faster than two inches a year. Scientists are now looking for a pattern that matches that of any previous triggering events. The last eruption of Yellowstone produced around 2,500 times more volcanic material than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Geologists have previously warned once they spot a sign, an eruption could happen in as little as two weeks. Now this is not fear-mongering, this is what the scientists themselves say. We saw this happening, for example, recently in May with a two or three month eruption period in Kilauea. They had a series of volcanoes, a deformation of the caldera, and that's when the eruption took place. Now Jacob Lowenstein, one of the uh, head USGS researchers, he's at the USGS survey in Vancouver, Washington, details how the last catastrophic incident may have played out. He said, typically, when these eruptions begin, they begin from a certain event, then they get larger as they move along the fracture system. The entire sequence that formed the last Yellowstone eruption may have taken as little as only two weeks. Should the same happen again, the ground around Yellowstone National Park would rise upward, forming a swarm of earthquakes. Well, we saw the earthquake swarm. We had one of my previous videos doing that. Yes, they do have some earthquake swarms. But most of the geologists say, don't worry, it's just normal. We've also had an uptick on the geyser, the steamboat geyser eruptions this year. Now, then following the eruption, enormous pyroclastic flows, pyroclastic flows would blast their way across the park. The mixture of ash, lava blebs, and superheated gas exceed temperatures of 1,000 degrees centigrade and can move at speeds of up to 300 miles an hour. That's about as half as a jet airplane flying above. They are predicted to spread more than 100 miles out of Yellowstone, burying states like the surrounding states, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Colorado in three feet of harmful volcanic ash. So you could imagine if those states are going to be full of three feet of ash, you could imagine how far out the other the ash will go towards the whole of the uh, mainland United States, continental United States. 
If the pyroclastic flow hits anyone, they would possibly die within seconds as the air could heat up to around 300 degrees Celsius. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.